150 years in my family in this county, milking cows. There's a lot of pride and a lot of tradition and a lot of hard work that goes into that. To think that I get up in the morning and I may be doing it a little bit differently than my great, great, great grandfather did, but I'm doing the same thing. We have a world population that's gonna be over nine billion people in the next 30 years, and someone's gotta feed that. I think the American farmer is the one that's gonna stand up to that task. There's a lot of traditions in our family, but I think one of them that I'm most proud of is being a fourth generation golden gopher. And you know, not only that, but a fourth generation animal science student as well. Minnesota's part of who I am. It's the, the community I grew up in. It's the state I love. It's fun to be tied to your state that way, your college, and in agriculture that way through that system. There's three generations working on our family farm every single day. It gives me a lot of passion, motivates me to continuously improve on the dairy, and to never settle with complacency, to always focus on where we want to be in the future and how we're going to get there. I always get choked up when I talk about my dad. You know, he's my mentor. I learned so much from him. There wasn't a lot of guys that went to college to become dairy farmers back in the 50s, let alone when my grandpa went in the 30s. So he brought back ideas that were kind of on the cutting edge for that time. And so I was very fortunate to have some of his wisdom and drive into trying new things. I think that loving your family and loving what you do is important, and, and those are two things that I learned from day one from my dad. I know my grandpa went through really tough times and it's because of his hard work that I feel really blessed in the life that I've had. I really admire him. You know, when he started our farm, he had $100 in his pocket and went into one of the toughest careers and, and really built our farm and our family to what it is today. The thing that makes me most proud is um, that my kids turned out as great as they did. I am, um, I'm really proud of them. It's humbling to see that they saw some of the values that I tried to share with them and that, that they became the fine young adults they are. My wife and I have this theory that we don't own this land, we're just holding it for the next generation. I think that we, as farmers, have figured it out. Tough times don't last, but tough people do.